Getting students interested in the scientific method beyond rote memorization has always been a challenge. This classroom kit introduces students to the methods of science without the isolated structure. Instead, students get to create a model based on their own indirect observations and hypothesis. The kit includes a teacher's guide, student worksheets, and 24 observertainers with 12 different patterns. The activity is set up by opening the observertainer and placing a steel ball inside. After closing them up, the teacher can identify the patterns by the number imprinted on the back of each observertainer. Although the observertainers snap together, tape can be used to keep students from turning their indirect observations into direct observations. The activity you're about to see was done by Darren Fix and a couple of his colleagues at Springview Middle School in Rockland, California. Is take this object and I want you to make some observations, just say them out loud. It's black, it's plastic. The shape of something like a puck, um, round. It has black tape holding it together. Marbles are ball bearings inside. Based on those observations that you were making, what, inside your brain, was there any kind of question that you were like, hmm, I wonder. I mean, just that I hear rattling sound, I wondered what is inside there. And then once I wondered what was inside there, uh, I wondered how much of whatever that was is inside there. So you shifted your brain from I noticed that to, well, I noticed that, now I think that. Is that what your brain did? Exactly. I want you to make a prediction. What do you think it looks like inside? Uh, my hypothesis it was that there are more than one marble or ball bearing inside here. First of all, there's one steel marble in there. Okay. And there may or may not be a set of walls or wall or walls in there. Right now, I could not speculate on the arrangement. I think if I felt it again, maybe, you know, and moved it, maybe I can figure that out. All right, so I'm going to let you do that. Go ahead. I'm going to give you this whiteboard, and I'm going to give you this dry erase marker. And why don't you draw what do you think it looks like inside? Okay. So let's show what your prediction is. This is based on your observations of what you heard. Okay, so this is your final prediction? Yeah. All right, so this is your prediction. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the results. Okay. And, and open up, see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> A little bit different. All right, so did the results match your hypothesis, your prediction? No, not even close. It was unexpected just because I felt like there was something through the center that allowed the ball to get from one side to the other. So the results were unexpected and they didn't match what you predicted. Is that a good or a bad thing? That's a good thing. I mean, you know, it, it, it kind of lets me know that I was you know, partially right and then I was partially incorrect, but that's okay. Now, what if I tell you that this is kind of a kind of like a mini example of how science actually works. At first you made some observations on something and that led you to kind of wonder about something to form a question and then you just kind of speculate and predicted what you thought was going on and then you m made some observations, you did a bunch of this and then you, you kind of wrote down your final prediction hypothesis and then you looked at the results and you compared to what the your prediction was to the actual results. Did you get an answer to the question of what it looked like inside? Yes. You have something that's ambiguous, you can't tell the results. What do scientists have to do? And they have to keep retesting the hypothesis, go back, um, rephrase or reword, or come back with their observations and then try again. Yeah, they have to change the method of how they're collecting their information, their data, their observations, mm -hmm. so that they get results that tell them one way or another what's going on. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. 
If this is your first time here and you're looking for new ideas and demos for your classroom, then start now by subscribing and clicking the notification bell to get notified every time Arbor Scientific releases a new video.